Hey guys, welcome to another Get Fit with Goddess Trends video. So, we all know the gym can be a scary place, right? But it doesn't have to be. I've had my share of anxiety with going to the gym. If you want to hear how I overcame this and you no longer want to be a victim of gym intimidation, just hit the thumbs up button and keep watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can be notified of when I drop another video. What's up my trendsetters? Welcome to another Get Fit video with Get Fit with Goddess Trends. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I drop another video. So, as a newbie, I have a few tips that I like to share with you. Because I know gym intimidation is very real and a lot of us struggle with confidence issues. I remember when I first started going to the gym, I used to be anxious, you know, going through the motions. So there are a few things that... I implemented into my experiences that helped me to be a little bit more confident while going to the gym. But you also have to keep in mind that everyone is there to better themselves. You understand? Everyone has their own goals. No one is really paying you any attention. You know what I mean? Everyone is just there getting it in. All you have to do is just get out your head. You understand? Get out your head and focus more on your workout. Step one is to build a positive relationship with the gym. And this should be easy because you have the power here. You have total control over your feelings and your emotions as it pertains to going to the gym. So I wanna encourage you to build a more positive relationship with the gym. And you can do that by being more consistent. The more you go, the more comfortable you get. Hence, the more confident you'll be. Sure, it's gonna be awkward at first, but you can't become comfortable at the gym if you decide it's too uncomfortable to try right so if i were you i would go to the gym with the mindset of i like it here sometimes you have to fake it till you make it tell yourself that i'm here to learn and challenge myself find positive reinforcements to keep you motivated whether that's positive self-talks or taking before and after pictures and definitely by being prepared Step two is to create a workout plan because not knowing what you're going to do when you get to the gym can be very intimidating. Here's a screen recording of a workout plan that I created for myself. But if you want to use it as a reference, go ahead and be my guest. But not knowing what to do in the gym can be very intimidating, like I said before. You can look up exercises online so that when you get to the gym, you know what you're going to do. Put it in your notes and use them as reference as you continue on with your workout and look up videos of the of the exercises that you choose to make sure that you're doing them properly and that your form is correct you want to you want the most out of your workout so practicing the proper form is very important if you'd like to know how i created my workout plan leave a comment down below i'll be happy to share step three is to research how to use the gym equipment because not understanding how to use gym equipment can be very discouraging I remember my first time seeing all the equipments. I was so overwhelmed. I remember thinking to myself, how do I use this thing? What muscles does it target? My advice is to ask the staff who work there for a demo. They'll be more than willing to help. Or you can ask a gym member. People are always open to helping. Step four is to make sure your phone and your AirPods are charged. Make sure you have a banging playlist that you love to listen to, one that's gonna get you hyped. You know what I mean? One that's going to put you in the mood to work out. If you're anything like me, you know music is life. It's great for tuning out distractions and help you focus on your workout, which is always a good thing. Step five is to go at non-busy hours. Go when there's less people hogging the machines. You have to play around with different times, you know, like go in the morning, go in the evening. Go, um, if your gym is 24 hours, go late at night. Whatever suits you, just go and test out, you know, which hours may be the best hours for you. Step number six is to wear something comfortable. You know, it sounds superficial, but it's really not because when you feel good about how you look, 
It's a huge confidence booster. I find that if I'm going into a situation where I'm already feeling intimidated, feeling self-conscious about how I look doesn't help the situation. But if you're comfortable in what you're wearing, more than likely you'll be able to focus more on your workout and less about whether or not your shirt is rolling up or your leggings are bunching over. And this is not a tip, but it's a bonus. When you hit a fitness goal, what I like to do, I like to reward myself. Not with food, not with ice cream, not with anything that's going to, you know, derail me from my goals. But I like to reward myself with um, with fitness outfits. Anything that's going to make me feel confident and beautiful um, in the gym. And here's another bonus tip for you. Don't ever feel rushed. Don't let anyone's demeanor pressure you into rushing your workout. Let them wait until your sets are finished. You don't want to take away from your experience or minimize your potential results because of intimidation. The machines aren't going anywhere, so they can wait. So yeah, I hope that all of this was helpful. Please leave me suggestions in the comment if you have any. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As you can see, I'm sitting in my home studio, but that's not what this video is going to be about uh this video is basically telling y'all it's basically jesus christ this is not easy this in this video i'll basically be telling you how i overcame um being intimidated in the gym Ugh.